What's up gang? Guys? Gang guys? Immerse Gaming here with a Morse code tutorial. First, we're going to start by learning how to say, Oh, how do I do Newcastle b hop? That's what Morse code sounds like when you translate it back to English. Okay, let's go down to the mechanics and see what he has to say. First, to initiate the res b hop, you have to start resing from an elevated surface as you can see in this video. Then drag your teammate down from the small ledge. I found that a ledge that is too high will result in a failure, so make sure it's a relatively small ledge. After dropping from the ledge, make sure you are strafing into an open area and not hit by any obstacle. If you do, it will cancel your momentum and return you to the regular speed. So the most efficient way to do this is to identify an open escape route and then res b hop your way out without having to consider where to hop to in real time. The second part of this video is to look at the ethicality of using this movement tech slash exploit. Some people think that this trick shouldn't be in the game and that using it is unfair for other players. My personal opinion is that if the developers are still keeping it in the game after a number of hot fixes of other problems even though this trick is quite popular, justifies its usage in game. It's not game breaking but it does give the player an extra advantage. A fitting comparison would be hiding spots or ratting spots in really tall places. The developer simply missed a spot when setting out of bound surfaces so the players who do know about it can gain an advantage against other players. Alright, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, you can softly caress the like button and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay, bye.